What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time coming, but another recipe video is finally here. So if you watched yesterday's vlog, vlog 15 I think, you've seen the protein muffins that uh, were at Subzilla. Now I didn't try one of them, but Ankrum gave them the double seal of approval. So I got the recipe from old Michelle and we we're going to go ahead and whip these guys up. Disclaimer, I've never made them before, so <laughs> this could turn out to be a disaster, but hey, I have a feeling that it's going to be pretty good and you might get a uh, laugh or two out of it. So taste test at the end as always. So if you guys are ready to see these protein muffins, then I'm ready to make them for you. Let's do it. All right, guys, first thing you're gonna wanna do, I've already started it, but you wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Get this started, that way you're not waiting on it at the end. So I'm gonna go over all the ingredients with you guys. It's actually a fairly easy ingredient list. I wanna say there's only five ingredients here. So let's go through it. We have, first off, you're gonna need yourself a protein powder. Now, any isolate protein is gonna work. I am using today Cinnamon French Toast by New Breed. This is by far, I really think, the best tasting protein I've ever had, being completely honest. You're also gonna need some unsweetened applesauce. I will go over exact quantities as I put them in my bowl here and mix them up. You're gonna need yourself some coconut flour. Never had this before, I'm excited to try it. We also need some egg whites, approximately two, but I'm just gonna pour them right out of this thing here. Break free egg whites. And then we're also gonna need a little bit of baking soda. And then the only final ingredient that's not here is water, which everybody should have in abundance. Let's hope, <laughs> let's hope. So I went ahead and picked up some whisks right? No matter how big or small the recipe is, I have a whisk for the job. Small whisk, medium whisk, large whisk. <laughs> Man, I'm, I, I have whisks for days now. And then I also picked myself up a little mini muffin tray that way we could do this thing right. So these were about $8 in total. So grab those just for this recipe. And who knows if it's really good, I might keep utilizing both of those. And then we're just gonna use a bowl here to mix everything up. So that's all the ingredients. Let's go ahead and get started on this recipe. All right, guys, first ingredient we are gonna need is one scoop of the protein powder. So I'm gonna go ahead, open this up and add the protein powder in here to our bowl. And like I said, you guys probably already seen it, but I'm using the new breed cinnamon French toast. This stuff is excellent, guys. I really can't put into words how good it tastes. So, all right, first ingredient done. Now we need a quarter cup of applesauce. So I bought this unsweetened applesauce here. This is gonna make sure we don't get any added sugar. So the only sugar we're gonna have is natural sugar coming from the applesauce. So let me open this up here, perfect. Now, we just need a quarter cup. So I have a half cup here, so I'm gonna use half of the half, because that makes a quarter, right? It's been a while since I graduated. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this in here. All right, that looks about good to me. Add that in, make sure we're not wasting any. Really making sure we get the most out of this applesauce. <laughs> All right, next thing we need is one tablespoon of coconut flour. So I'm using Simple Truth organic coconut flour. Um, the, all they have is organic, so I'm not, uh, not saying you have to get organic, but I guess in some sense organic's a little better. I don't know. And just so you can see here, once again, boom, boom, that's what we're doing. Now, all I have here, ooh, oven's done preheating. See guys, see? That pro tip in the beginning was well worth it. We need one tablespoon of coconut flour. I'm gonna get in here with my tablespoon and there we go. Now, the next thing we need is two egg whites. I'm gonna go ahead and use these break free egg whites like I said, but what I'm gonna do is actually measure them out. So, got myself a food scale here. I'm gonna sit it down, turn it on, place this on there, open up my egg whites, and then we have approximately, it says per egg white, there is 46 grams. So, in total, I'm gonna need 92 if my math's right. Dump this in here, and voila. 95 grams, close enough for me. And then last but certainly not least, we need one quarter teaspoon of baking soda. So I have my teaspoon here, my actual one quarter teaspoon. And let me get down in here. See, I got this little slat here I gotta go in. Woo what do we got, what do we got? Come on, come on, don't flap, don't fight me flap. Bingo, perfect. Michael Jordan couldn't have done that better. <laughs> Ram, why is that relevant? I don't know guys, okay. <laughs> Here we go, so that's everything in here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and bust out one of the whisks. Which whisk should I use? Comment below. Big whisk, medium whisk, little whisk. Like I said, guys, we're whisk rich right now. We're gonna use the little whisk. Oh man, that was barely on there. <laughs> I don't think thieves are really in the market for whisks, but if you were, Kroger has some easy ones to steal. 
<laughs> I'm kidding, I'm not condoning stealing. All right guys, and now we're gonna go in here and mix this all up. Now, the key is you wanna mix it up and then once you reach a certain point, it's, it might seem a little thick, you add a little bit of water to it. That way, it fluffs up as nice as it can while it's baking. So we're gonna go in here, whisk, whisk, whisk. Guys, would you believe I've never whisked before? It feels good to whisk. Been missing out this whole time. <laughs> Okay, whisk, 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 whisk. All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit of water. All right, I didn't add much. I just added a tiny little bit. Because this is my first time making these, I really don't wanna mess them up. All right, guys, I would say that is whisked about as good as it's gonna get. All right, guys, now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take my mini muffin tray and spray it with cooking spray. And boom, we're gonna be using butter flavored nonstick cooking spray. Now, the reason we're spraying this is that way when we bake them, they don't stick to the pan. So I'm gonna go through here, hit it with a nice coating. Boom, nice, one more, one more, presto, that should do the trick. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is take my cup here, I'm gonna get down in our bowl, and I'm gonna slowly fill this up. Get in here and slowly add them in. Whoop, hopefully this turns out good. I have a good feeling about this one, guys. Comment below, are these gonna be a disaster or are these gonna be good? I have a good feeling about it. And boom, guys, we got them all filled up now. A couple of these kind of spilled off to the side, so I'm gonna go in here and just kind of Make sure everything's down in here. I want these to be as voluminous as possible. So, nice guys, this is uh, kind of fun. Hopefully these are good. I'm enjoying making these things. Look at these little brownies, they're so cute. Okay, <laughs> now what I'm gonna go ahead and do, since that is done, check it out. Man, I think I might've used a little too much cooking oil up there on the top, but for the most part, hold on. That one needs to be evened out. So we'll take a little bit out of this one, put you in there, a little bit out of this one. All right, there we go. Now they're all about even. I'm gonna take this, open up the oven. Now we wanna bake these at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here on the top rack. Slide them right in there, nice. Close this up, timer, 10 minutes, and nice. All right guys, I will be back in 10 minutes and we will give these things a taste test. Stay tuned. All right, guys, they are officially done. Get my trusty oven mitt here. We will go ahead and turn off the oven. Bingo, open up. Let's grab them. Oh man, they look amazing. Nice, okay. Boom, would you guys look at these. These look amazing, oh man. I am so excited. I actually just calculated the macros. When I tell you the macros for these, you won't even believe it. So I'm gonna go ahead, let these cool for a second, take them off the plate, and then we will get to taste testing. All right, YouTube, are you ready for a taste test? Now, like I said, I calculated the macros, and if these are good, then this could be a game changer. But as you can see, all of our mini muffins are right here. So it makes 12 of them, and then don't they look just great? Look at those things. Look at them. <laughs> All right, guys, are we ready? Man, it's been a while since I've sat here and done a cooking video and actually got the taste test something I made. I'm excited. <laughs> like a kid at Christmas. All right, so let's grab, let's do this plump one in the middle with the big top. Okay, you guys ready? Moment of truth. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm not gonna jump to any conclusions just yet. Let's try another one and see how she fares, shall we? Mmm, mmm. Oh, hold on guys, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I would hate to give out false information. Come on, trust me, trust me. Okay, guys, we have reached a verdict. These totally get the bow, double seal of approval. Now, they taste very good. It's not the best tasting thing I've ever made, right? Like peanut butter cookies or something like that tastes probably a little better. But once I read these macros off to you and you figure out just exactly how little calories and macros you're getting in these, game changer. Game changer. Oh, and they're bite size. Mm. Mm -mm. Yes, yes, thank you so much for this recipe, Michelle. This is gonna be my new go-to. This is, this is amazing. This is amazing, okay. Let me go over the macros with you guys just so you can share in the <laughs> excitement that I'm having right now. So, in the entire recipe, all 12 of these mini muffins, there's only 276 calories. Overall macros, for the entire recipe, we have two grams of fat, 34 grams of protein, and 26 grams of carbohydrates, and then 
per muffin, right? There's only 23 calories. I know, I know. And 0.2 grams of fat, so practically zero, three grams of protein, and two grams of carbs per muffin. How is that possible? How is this witchcraft possible? <laughs> So totally guilt free guys. And five grams of those carbs for the whole recipe is fiber. This is like, you can make these 276 calories. Like these are great. Oh, these are great. <laughs> mm, okay, okay. Move those away. Now, per guys, try those, try those. I want you guys also to, I don't haven't done the recipe videos quite as frequently here lately. Comment below if you have any recipes you want me to try to make. I'll make whatever, disaster or not. I will try to make whatever and I guarantee it'll be at least an entertaining experience for everybody involved. So I am out of here, guys. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Shout out to Michelle once again for this awesome recipe. Game changer, guys. Try this as soon as you can. Comment below and let me know what you thought of it. Because I this is this is amazing. This is this is a game, literally a game changer. Literally a game changer. So thank you guys for all your support, as always. And you know what I'm about to do? You know what I'm about to do? Let's do it. Don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you could be making better. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you are not subscribed, and I will see you guys at the next episode. See ya!